However, Sigma revealed they recently made the brave choice to turn down one of his tracks. The drum and bass duo admitted they decided not to follow acts including Rita Ora, Justin Bieber, Major Lazer and Rudimental, who have all recorded tunes written by Ed, because they want to stand out from the crowd. Joe Lenzi told me we got sent one of his ideas recently that they were talking about us using but we have loads of other stuff of our own so we did and record it, there is just so much Ed stuff floating around at the moment in the mix and people are lapping it up. REXGETTY Snub Sigma going it alone there is just so much Ed stuff floating around at the moment Joe Lenzi but that doesn't mean they're not fans. Joe Gushed Ed is amazing. He is one of the best songwriters around. Everything he touches turns to magic, he is just a songwriting machine. The guys have opted to experiment and teamed up with hip-hop artist Quavo and Sebastian Cole for banging new track forever. As a hot production too, some, the boys are constantly on tour and have the perfect remedy to cure pre-show nerves. He joked we all do three shots of tequila and hope for the best, that was a lie, but having a little drink definitely helps calms the nerves, however, it can interrupt the performance, so not too much alcohol otherwise you'd get used to it and end up going down a slippery slope. That would be terrible Daisy Lowe is the daughter of Pearl Lowe and lead singer of Bush, Gavin Rossdale. She began modeling at the age of two, so has gained a lot of experience since then. Here are her sexiest shots. Daisy all for it busy party girl Daisy Lowe attended four events in one night. She went to a book launch, the Boo Avenue Christmas launch party and a Craig David gig before ending up at the launch of Nasty Gal pop-up store, attended by Demi Rose Left. After catching up with Strictly Come Dancing pal Greg Rutherford at the gig, which launched the new Vodafone passes, Daisy partied with singer Ray, above. No wonder she opted for trainers over heels. Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds at York Hall, London Manchester legend unveiled a new sound at this intimate one-off comeback show, Don't Cry and Sing Along Because You Don't Know the Words, cautioned Noel, as he played tunes from psychedelic new disc Who Built the Moon. As he stepped out with ex-Oasis pals Jim Archer and Chris Sherrick, there was no mention of his feud with brother Liam, whose debut solo album is also doing the rounds. Getty Comeback Noel Gallagher performed a one-off show reverb drenched It's a Beautiful World, which could have featured on the Top Gun movie soundtrack, while lead single Holy Mountain got the room bouncing. Reboots of Oasis tunes were led by Little by Little and an up-tempo champagne supernova. And an emotional Don't Look Back and Anger triumphed as Noel gestured to his wife and children. The show will feature in a new HFB documentary, out on Apple Music when the album drops on November 24th. Related Articles